This wind turbine is designed to generate more electricity per area in urban, low-wind regions than the most efficient solar cells currently on the market. According to some media reports, it does so by a factor of 16. A truly sophisticated system is employed, which significantly increases the electricity yield, in part due to a special suction effect above the installation. This wind turbine differs fundamentally from any other system and is expected to achieve previously impossible electricity yields. From a physical perspective, it's truly interesting. But what's really behind it, we will explain. If the system works as well as claimed, it could be a breakthrough for people who want to produce their own electricity at a low cost. It's also said to be inaudibly quiet and to pay for itself faster and more effectively than any comparable concept, whether wind or solar power. How exactly does the system work? We have analyzed it. In wind technology, a distinction is made between rotor-based and rotorless systems. With rotor-based concepts, pulling force or lift is used for energy generation. These are referred to as resistance or lift runners. Indeed, electricity can be harvested from the wind, even without circular motion. For instance, the vortex bladeless system vibrates in the wind because it constantly adjusts its structural frequency to the wind's frequency through a special magnetic system. The electricity is essentially generated through oscillation. The system sways in the wind. In the Dutch wind power concept, Evicon by the company Mechanu, tiny water droplets blown away by the wind create a usable charge difference. Trend-wise, many of the rotorless systems, despite various advantages, achieve a lower efficiency than conventional rotor-based systems. However, the concept from the company Aeromine is said to be completely different. By utilizing the suction force, which is generated due to a special arrangement of components and the wind passing by, it is supposed to produce 50% more electricity than photovoltaics with the same area consumption. According to Clean Thinking, a wind speed of 4 meters per second could produce a whole 5 kilowatts of power. But how is this supposed to work? As the wind pulls on the roller in the center towards the blades of the wind turbine, the wind flow is pushed outward. This creates a vacuum behind the roller. This suction effect is transferred to the inside of the tube, resulting in a wind flow due to the pressure difference. The idea behind it is truly ingenious. This means that the strength of the suction can increase with the height of the structure despite constant area consumption. In other words, the biggest problem of small wind power is finally solved. To generate more electricity with a single small wind turbine, using conventional approaches, it has to be scaled up in practically all dimensions, especially in width. But how is electricity supposed to be generated from this ingenious wind flow without a rotor? Well, this is where it gets really interesting. According to various media reports and company statements, the system is explicitly roverless. However, this doesn't seem to be entirely accurate. As can be seen in the recording, there is indeed a hidden rotor. We initially thought it might be an early prototype that was rotor-based and now uses a different system, but no. In an interview with Interesting Engineering, Dr. Karsten Westergaard, founder and CTO of Aeromine, explained the situation. The inner propeller is not really a wind turbine, but more of a reverse running fan, or abstracted from water flows, a Kaplan turbine in a dam. The system is driven by the pressure difference and the flow velocity resulting from this pressure difference. So it's kind of a rotor after all. However, the concept is simply not related to conventional rotor-based systems since different forces are used. Nonetheless, this isn't a problem, especially since the negative aspects of a rotor-based system seem to be resolved with this concept. The wind turbine is said to be absolutely silent and doesn't transmit noticeable vibrations to the building. However, there are no data sheets to back up these statements from the CTO. We cannot verify these claims. We're also skeptical about the claim that the system has a particularly long lifespan because there are no real moving parts. Apart from the fact that the rotor does indeed rotate and no clear and accurate statement was made, a really fatal detail is hidden in this statement. If the structure cannot rotate and stands rigidly on the roof, how is it supposed to react to changes in wind direction? As we understand the system, it only produces electricity when the wind hits the structure from the right direction, and questions arise about efficiency in the ideal state. As Tobias Holzman, an expert in fluid dynamics and flow theory, formulated in the comments under an Aeromine prototype video, the power at 4 meters per second should be around 300-600 Go, 
and not more than eight times that value. At least that's his feeling about the system, and we share that opinion. However, we need to significantly tone down our criticism because, of course, our estimates and concerns may be unfounded. We look forward to more detailed data and information from the company. Moreover, the recordings might just show prototypes, that is, proof of concepts that are meant to test individual functions. It could be that in this recording only the two construction with suction effect was tested, and we don't see a finished system from the company. But it could also be that our general skepticism regarding the reluctance to publish data sheets is unfounded and the system works excellently. Nevertheless, despite the emphasized market maturity and the fact that 10,000 of these systems are supposed to be produced by 2023, we currently advise against the system. From a scientific perspective, the data situation is simply too limited, no matter how interesting and new we might find the concept. From our side, a sobering conclusion that will surely disappoint many. But we don't want to leave you with this feeling. There are definitely small wind power concepts that can be worthwhile for everyone individually. And you can easily find out what's really worth it. We'll explain how. Especially important for assessing the viability of a small wind turbine are three factors. The function of the electricity yield depending on the wind speed, the purchase price of the system, and a comprehensive and accurate analysis of which typical wind speed is given at which time. The average speed alone is sufficient for a rough estimate, but is far too imprecise for a detailed cost-benefit calculation. The reason is quickly explained. The stronger the wind blows, the more disproportionately more electricity the system delivers. The small wind turbines from the company Icewind deliver only 100 watts at 3 meters per second, but 2,000 watts at 9 meters per second. If you calculate an average wind speed of, for example, 5 meters per second at home, it's not clear how this is composed. On one day with 9 meters per second and on another with 0 meters per second, you will generate about five times more electricity than on two days with 4.5 meters per second. Normally, the wind speed fluctuates seasonally around the average value. A decent benchmark remains the average, though. Once a wind profile is determined, you can calculate how useful specific small wind power systems are for you. You just have to offset the wind profile with the power output in relation to the wind speed and determine a mean energy yield per year from this. This can be offset against the guarantee of the wind turbine. And thus, together with the purchase price, a price per kilowatt hour can be determined. Depending on the intention behind the small wind power wish, this price must be more or less far below the current electricity price from the socket. That's how easy it is to create a meaningful balance to increase the degree of self-sufficiency through wind power. A system already available, which can be really profitable in many cases, is the vertical axis of the company Icewind. If you want to know more about it, click on the displayed video. Feel free to subscribe to this channel to be informed about all new videos.